Good morning, children. Today we are going to begin with leaf. We have already discussed stem and root earlier. Okay. So now we'll discuss about the leaf. The leaf, as you see in this picture here, is a thin, flattened green part of a plant, which is attached to the stem or the branch at the node. Okay. So this node we had discussed already in the previous class that stems have nodes. Now from the node, there is a short branch-like structure that arises called the petiole, okay, or a stalk with which the leaf is attached to the stem is called the petiole. This petiole continues further till the tip of the leaf in the form of a midrib. Now from this midrib, we are having many branches coming out. You can see these branches are termed as the veins and the veinlets. Okay, the complete structure of this leaf, the green part that you see is termed as the lamina. And this lamina is supported by the veins and the veinlets and the midrib. Right? It gives a supporting structure to the lamina of the leaf and keeps the lamina upright so that it, uh, the structure can get proper sunlight. And this that you see at the edge is the margin. The margin could be very smooth as it is in this leaf or it could be a serrated margin. Serrated means the margin is cut. Okay. Okay. Now we spoke about the lamina of the leaf, right? On that lamina, at the, on the undersurface especially, there are many structures, very minute microscopic structures termed as the stomata. This stomata is the opening, okay, of the leaf that helps or allows air to enter inside for the leaves to breathe as well as to take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Stomata, since it's an opening, it also forms a structure through which leaves transpire, meaning they give out extra water vapor, whatever is present, that water is present in the cells of the leaves, they evaporate through the stomata. Okay, so these two functions, it helps the leaf to, uh, uh, in exchange of gases and also transpiration happens through the stomata. So the opening of the stomata is regulated by these two bean-shaped guard cells that you see. Okay, when the guard cells are swollen, then the stomata is open. When the guard cells shrink, the stomata closes. Now. The next important uh, part of this leaf is the venation. Just now we spoke about the uh, veins, veinlets and the midrib, right? We said that it supports the lamina. But the veins and veinlets are arranged in, in a different way in all leaves. Like you see, this, you know, arrangement of these veins and veinlets is termed as venation. How it is arranged. Now here in this leaf, you see, you have these veins and then there are many, you know, intercross uh, connections between these veins. Okay. So, this type of venation where there is a network-like structure is termed as a reticulate venation. Whereas in this leaf, you see that all the veins, okay, are arranged parallel to each other. Okay. So, this type of venation will be termed as parallel venation. A reticulate venation is found in plants like rose, people, mango, neem, hibiscus and all these type of plants. Whereas parallel venation is very common in rice and all the other cereals, wheat, bamboo, sugarcane and even onion. Now as we saw that there are two different types of venations, we have reticulate venation and parallel venation. Now, we'll just see the difference between the two types of venations and we'll also see how these venations are linked with the type of root in the plant. Okay. First is reticulate, as I said, is the arrangement of veins in a network-like fashion or a net-like pattern on the leaf. Whereas in case of parallel venation, the veins run parallel to each other from the base to the apex. Okay. So, they could be either parallel to the midrib or from the midrib, all the veins are parallel to each other. It could be any way. Okay. 
Secondly, plants that have reticulate venation, they have the taproot system that you can see here. They have the main primary root with many branches. Whereas those plants that have a fibrous root system, I mean the parallel venation, they have the fibrous root system where the roots, the main root is uh, decomposes and from the base of the stem, there are many uh, roots that arise. Okay, so this is the correctivity. Now you have to do a short activity on this. This activity is for you to do it at home. Okay, you will have to just go around a garden. The main aim first we will check. The aim is to find out the root type of the plant from their venation. Just by looking at the leaf, you should be able to tell what is the root type of the plant. You have to just go around in your garden or if you have indoor plants, just go through and see some plants. Use a hand lens to observe what is the type of venation. Okay, so write down at least five plants that you have observed. Okay, and type of venation it has and therefore what type of root system it is going to have you have to conclude okay thank you children we'll be again meeting in the next class to discuss with modifications of